So if we look back to February last year, we know that Emirates placed an order for 36 of the Airbus A380 planes. Now this order came in at a good time because Airbus was actually considering shutting down the production line or reducing the number of planes manufactured yearly. Since then, no orders have been made and it's worth noting that the plane didn't do so well at the Farnborough Air Show even though it was the main attraction. Unfortunately, it doesn't look too good for Airbus right now. At one time, the order of Emirates was seen as a lifesaver for the A380 program, but now we're not so sure. Now the airline is actually considering converting the A380 order to the twin engine A350. If that happens, then it could mean the end of the A380 program if no future orders are secured. Now we know that Emirates loves the A380. It works really well for them and they're the largest operator of the type. But what's made them change their decision within the span of a year? Well, it all comes down to engines. You see, Emirates couldn't reach an agreement with Rolls-Royce because in the eyes of the airline, the engines don't meet the specifications of the carrier in terms of fuel saving. Airbus has actually warned that if this deal does not take place, the A380 production line will soon come to an end. And according to Reuters, Airbus is now contemplating the closure of the A380 production line. Now the CEO Tom Enders will leave Airbus in April and it's very likely that he will complete this task before his resignation. Now Emirates has already placed an order for 70 of the Airbus A350s but they modified it in 2014 for more A380s. Now we're assuming that the opposite will happen. Airbus has now confirmed that they are currently in talks with Emirates regarding the A380 deal but they haven't actually committed anything regarding the specific details. The A380 program has already been scaled back by Airbus with a delivery schedule reduced to only 8 this year and then 6 ongoing. Airbus have also convinced the private airline to change their order of 10 A380s to the A350s earlier on this year. But in terms of the A350 and Emirates, is this a good choice? Well, it's cheaper, around $100 million cheaper than the A380. Now Airbus is going to sacrifice almost $1 billion to switch the order, which must mean the A380 program is no longer viable for the company. Where the airline might feel the pain is the passenger count of the A350 compared to the A380. But if the airline is set to receive the 787-10 Dreamliner, then we can assume that they'll be able to handle this capacity cut. The A350 carries around 150 give or take passengers than the A380, which might be a deal breaker for the Middle Eastern airline whose business model relies on big aircraft for long routes. But the fuel savings of the A350, as well as many other technological advantages of the newer designed aircraft, might actually make this deal very worth it. So captains, I definitely want you to share your thoughts regarding this topic. Do you think Emirates are better off for the A380 or do you think the fuel efficient A350 is a better choice? Now my own personal opinion is, is that Emirates are trying to scare Airbus and Rolls Royce of bailing out on their order just so that they can feel the pressure and perhaps produce a more fuel efficient engine or at least an upgrade. Now that's my thought on it anyways, feel free to disagree if you want. Thank you so much for watching guys, like and subscribe as always and I hope to see you in the next video.